Hello everyone, this is Jackie, the French reporter for Watson Headquarters. I'm here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, attending the Peggy Albright Friendly House Los Angeles, where they are celebrating their 26th annual award luncheon. Today, they will honor Kelly Osborne, who is the Woman of the Year, Moby for the Man of the Year Award, and Los Angeles City Council President, Herb J. Wesson with the Excellence in Service Award. Peggy Albright Friendly House was founded in 1951 and was the first home in the country for women recovering for substance and alcohol abuse and he is a model for recovery homes in the United States and Europe. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after a quick break with Dr. Gaddy. This is Dr. Galley. Let's get better together. What did we accomplish in 2015? We do a lot more than just getting women sober. I think people think we just get people sober. It's a renovation of a, a home that we have been in for over 50 years. We are doing more for women, helping them get trained jobs. When a woman walks through the doors, she feels that warmth of where we have brought college, school, and really helping them get back into the workforce and being better parents. For the women themselves, we've in, uh, increased our program. More awareness, getting more people involved in Friendly House, and you know. We've brought on a psychologist. Having more people that just know that we're much more than just a drug and alcohol rehabilitation for women. They do some really fine work in helping people to uh, recover you know, and get back on the path. We do have plans to go forward. These people, Friendly House has a really great reputation and they've done some amazing work. Kelly, the French reporter, how are you? Sweetie? I'm so well, thank you, how are you? Kelly, tell us a little bit about how does that feel to be the 2015 Woman of the Year? Well, I, all I keep saying is that I'm not worthy. I had lunch with Peggy this week and I told her that I don't feel like I deserve it yet. I haven't done enough work, especially for Friendly House. And because of women like Peggy, that I'm even here today. Brad, what would you say to people who are on the road of recovery? I would say if you're on the road to recovery, to remember we only have one day. Pick up the phone and make a phone call. If you can't do one day at a time, do one second at a time. We're here for you. Just know you're not alone. One day at a time is truly the way you put together. Don't ever be ashamed or afraid to say I don't know. Six months, nine months, 12 months, five years, 10 years. Whatever you're going through, it's only unique onto you. You know, every single day as a sober person, we get the opportunity to... That if you say, I don't know, and you say, can you help me, or I need your help... Correct any mistakes we made the day before and continue to be a force for good out in the world. You'd be surprised how things can change in your life. It's a hard road, but if you keep to it and you just believe in the program and do what you're supposed to do and be of service, it will always... It works. To not be afraid to ask for help. And to not drink or use no matter what. Because help is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. Can I kiss you? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Kelly, tell us a little bit about how Peggy assisted you. She paved the way for women in sobriety. She paved the way for women to know that they can rebuild their lives no matter where they've come from or what circumstances have led them to where they are and the countless numbers of lives that she has saved and women that she has empowered to be in a room full of people like this is, like I keep saying, I'm just not worthy, I just feel so honored. Peggy Albright, who shares some very important information, recommendation for an addict. Make that phone call if, if that is you. We love you. Right, Ray Ray? Ray Ray was a addict and he got a great recovery. Yeah. See, Ray Ray, you already have a girlfriend. <laughs> hey.
Hey, Kelly is looking really hot. Can you share how she got ready this morning for the occasion? Oh, I mean, we just had hair and makeup at home, just a relaxation, getting ready. It was really cute, and, you know, got zipped up, came over, had the shoes and everything ready. It was so perfect. It, I can't thank Vilma from the Beverly Hilton enough. She saved our lives. Shout out to Vilma, seriously. Shout out to the French reporter. Yay, French reporter. My name is Tony Dennison. I'm on Major Crimes on TNT, Monday nights, 9 o'clock, USA. Country, Maybe. not USA. Watch it, and this is Michelle Johnson. Nice plug, all right. For Michelle Johnson, peace out. Thank you so much for what you do, and God bless you. Thank you, sweetheart, and thank you for being here. God. Absolutely.